What's new in Flash 5? The new features in Flash 5 provide enhanced capabilities for creating artwork, streamlining your workflow, and creating interactivity. Flash 5 also includes greatly expanded capabilities for creating actions with ActionScript. See what's new in ActionScript in ActionScript Help. Creating artwork. Enhanced color controls, including the mixer panel, fill and stroke panels, swatches panel, and fill and stroke toolbox controls, provide expanded capabilities for painting artwork. See working with color overview. New selection highlights make it easy to identify selected lines, fills, and groups as well as the color of selected objects. See selecting objects. Draggable guides aid you in arranging objects on the stage. See using the grid, guides, and rulers. The pen tool lets you create precise paths. It works like the pen tool in Macromedia Freehand or Macromedia Fireworks. See using the pen tool. Workflow. New panels for working with color, type, actions, frames, instances, and entire movies make it easy to access options for modifying elements in Flash movies. See Flash Basics Overview. Shared libraries let you link to library items as external assets. You can create font symbols to include in shared libraries as well as buttons, graphics, movie clips, and sounds. See using shared libraries. The Macromedia dashboard provides a way for you to easily keep up with the latest information on using Flash. See Macromedia dashboard for Flash. Custom shortcut keys allow you to create your own shortcuts for Flash commands and functions to customize your workflow. See Customizing Keyboard Shortcuts. Support for importing MP3 sound files lets you import sounds into Flash that are already compressed. This reduces the time required for publishing and exporting a movie with sound since you don't have to compress the sounds during export. Using compressed sounds reduces the file size of completed movies and reduces memory requirements during authoring. See adding sound overview. Interactivity. Expanded Action Script provides greatly enhanced capabilities for creating interactivity in Flash using Action Script. See Action Script help. The Movie Explorer lets you easily view the complete contents of the current movie and view the properties panel for a selected item to modify it. See using the Movie Explorer. The Print Action lets you assign actions for printing Flash Movie frames from the Flash Player as vector or bitmap graphics. See Action Script Help. Flash Basics Overview. Flash movies are graphics and animation for websites. They consist primarily of vector graphics, but they can also contain imported bitmap graphics and sounds. Flash movies can incorporate interactivity to permit input from viewers, and you can create nonlinear movies that can interact with other web applications. Web designers use Flash to create navigation controls, animated logos, long form animations with synchronized sound, and even complete sensory rich websites. Flash movies are compact, vector graphics, so they download rapidly and scale to the viewer's screen size. You've probably watched and interacted with Flash movies on many websites, including Disney Registered, The Simpsons Registered, and Coca-Cola Registered. Millions of web users have received the Flash player with their computers, browsers, or system software. Others have downloaded it from the Macromedia website. The Flash player resides on the local computer where it plays back movies in browsers or as standalone applications. Viewing a Flash movie on the Flash player is similar to viewing a videotape on a VCR. The Flash player is the device used to display the movies you create in the Flash authoring application. For an interactive introduction to Flash, choose Help Lessons Introduction. Using scenes. To organize a movie thematically, you can use scenes. For example, you might use separate scenes for an introduction, a loading message, and credits. 
When you publish a Flash movie that contains more than one scene, the scenes in the SWF file play back in one sequence in the order they are listed in the scene panel in the FLA file. Frames in the SWF file are numbered consecutively through scenes. For example, if a movie contains two scenes with 10 frames each, the frames in scene 2 are numbered 11, 20. You can add, delete, duplicate, rename, and change the order of scenes. To stop or pause a movie after each scene, or to let users navigate the movie in a nonlinear fashion, you use actions. See Creating Interactive Movies Overview. Scene Panel. To display the scene panel, choose Window Panel Scene. To view a particular scene, choose View Godot and then choose the name of the scene from the submenu. To add a scene, do one of the following. Click the Add Scene button in the Scene Panel. Choose Insert Scene. To delete a scene, do one of the following. Click the Delete Scene button in the Scene Panel. Open the scene you want to delete and choose Insert Remove Scene. To change the name of the scene, double-click the scene name in the Scene Panel and enter the new name. To duplicate a scene, click the Duplicate Scene button in the Scene Panel. To change the order of a scene in the movie, drag the scene name to a different location in the Scene Panel. Adding sound overview. Flash offers a number of ways to use sounds. You can make sounds that play continuously independent of the timeline, or you can synchronize animation to a soundtrack. You can attach sounds to buttons to make them more interactive, and make sounds fade in and out for a more polished soundtrack. You can use sounds in shared libraries to link a sound from one library to multiple movies. You can also use sounds in sound objects to control sound playback with action script. There are two types of sounds in Flash, event sounds and stream sounds. An event sound must download completely before it begins playing, and it continues playing until explicitly stopped. Stream sounds begin playing as soon as enough data for the first few frames has been downloaded. Stream sounds are synchronized to the timeline for playing on the website. You select compression options to control the quality and size of sounds in exported movies. You can select compression options for individual sounds with a sound properties dialog box or define settings for all sounds in the movie in the published settings dialog box. For an interactive introduction to using sound in Flash, choose Help Lesson Sound. Importing sounds. You use the file import command to bring WAV, Windows only, AIFF, Macintosh only, or MP3, either platform, sounds into Flash, just as you would import any other file type. If you have QuickTime 4 or later installed on your system, you can import these additional sound file formats, Sound Designer II, Macintosh only. Sound only QuickTime Movies, Windows or Macintosh, Sun AU, Windows or Macintosh. System 7 Sounds, Macintosh only. WAV, Windows or Macintosh. Flash stores sounds in the library along with bitmaps and symbols. As with graphic symbols, you need only one copy of a sound file to use that sound in any number of ways in your movie. If you want to share sounds among Flash movies, you can include sounds in shared libraries. See using shared libraries. To use a sound in a shared library, you assign the sound file an identifier string in the symbol linkage properties dialog box. The identifier can also be used to access the sound as an object in Action Script. For information on objects in Action Script, see Action Script Help. Sounds can use considerable amounts of disk space and RAM. MP3 sound data, however, is compressed and smaller than WAV or AIFF sound data. Generally, when using WAV or AIFF files, it's best to use 16-bit 22 kHz mono sounds. Stereo uses twice as much data as mono, but Flash can import either 8- or 16-bit sounds at sample rates of 11 kHz, 22 kHz, or 44 kHz. Flash can convert sounds to lower sample rates on export. See Compressing Sounds for Export. Note, sounds recorded in formats that are not multiples of 11 kHz, such as 8, 32, or 96 kHz, are resampled when imported into Flash. If you want to add effects to sounds in Flash, it's best to import 16-bit sounds. 
If you have limited RAM, keep your sound clip short or work with 8-bit sounds instead of 16-bit sounds. To import a sound, one shoot file import. Two in the import dialog box, locate and open the desired sound file. The imported sound is placed in the library for the current movie. Note, you can also drag a sound from a common library into the library for the current movie. See working with common libraries. Adding sounds to a movie. To add sound to a movie, you assign a sound to a layer and set options in the sound panel. It is recommended that you place each sound on a separate layer. To add a sound to a movie, one import the sound if it has not already been imported. See importing sounds. To choose insert layer to create a layer for the sound. Through with a new sound layer selected, drag the sound from the library onto the stage. The sound is added to the current layer. You can place multiple sounds on one layer or on layers containing other objects. However, it is recommended that each sound be placed on a separate layer. Each layer acts like a separate sound channel. The sounds on all layers are combined when you play back the movie. For choose window panel sound. 5 in the sound panel, choose a sound file from the sound pop-up menu. 6 choose an effect option from the effects pop-up menu, none applies no effects to the sound file. Choose this option to remove previously applied effects. Left channel slash right channel place sound in the left or right channel only. Fade left or right slash fade right to left shifts the sound from one channel to the other. Fade and gradually increases the amplitude of the sound over its duration. Fade out gradually decreases the amplitude of the sound over its duration. Custom lets you create your own in and out points of sound using the edit envelope. See using the sound editing controls. 7. Choose a synchronization option from the sync pop-up menu. Event synchronizes the sound to the occurrence of an event. An event sound plays when its starting keyframe is first displayed and plays in its entirety, independently of the timeline, even if the movie stops. Event sounds are mixed when you play your published movie. An example of an event sound is a sound that plays when a user clicks a button. Start is the same as event, except that if the sound is already playing, a new instance of the sound is started. Stop silence is the specified sound. Stream synchronizes the sound for playing on a website. Flash forces animation to keep pace with stream sounds. If Flash can't draw animation frames quickly enough, it skips frames. Unlike event sounds, stream sounds stop if the animation stops. Also, a stream sound can never play longer than the length of the frames it occupies. Stream sounds are mixed when you publish your movie. An example of a stream sound is the voice of a character in an animation that plays in multiple frames. Note, if you use an MP3 sound as a stream sound, you must recompress the sound for export. See Compressing Sounds for Export. 8. Enter a value for loop to specify the number of times the sound should loop. For continuous play, enter a number large enough to play the sound for an extended duration. For example, to loop a 15 second sound for 15 minutes, enter 60. Note, looping stream sounds is not recommended. If a stream sound is set to loop, frames are added to the movie and the file size is increased by the number of times the sound is looped. Adding sounds to buttons. You can associate sounds with the different states of a button symbol. Because the sounds are stored with a symbol, they work for all instances of the symbol. To add sound to a button, one select the button in the library. Two choose edit from the library options menu. Three in the buttons timeline, add a layer for sound. Four in the sound layer, create a regular or blank keyframe to correspond to the button state to which you want to add a sound. For example, to add a sound that plays when the button is clicked, create a keyframe in the frame labeled down. 5. Click the keyframe you have just created. 6. Choose window panel sound. 7. In the sound panel, choose a sound file from the sound pop-up menu. 8. Choose event from the synchronization pop-up menu. To associate a different sound with each of the button's keyframes, create a blank keyframe and add another sound file for each keyframe. You can also use the same sound file and apply a different sound effect for each button keyframe. See using the sound editing controls. Using sounds with shared libraries or with sound objects you can link a sound from one library to multiple flash movies by assigning linkage properties to the sound and including the sound in a shared library. For more information on using shared libraries, see using shared libraries. You can use the sound object in Action Script to add sounds to a movie and to control sounds in a movie. Control and sounds includes adjusting the volume or the right and left balance while a sound is playing. See, creating sound controls in the interaction chapter of Action Script help. To use a sound in a shared library or sound action, you assign an identifier string to the sound in the symbol linkage dialog box. To assign an identifier string to a sound, one select the sound in the library window. To do one of the following. Choose linkage from the library options menu. Right click, windows, or control click, Macintosh, the sound name in the library window, and choose linkage from the context menu. Three under linkage in the symbol linkage properties dialog box, select export this symbol. Four, enter an identifier string in the text box, and then click OK.
using the sound editing controls. To define the starting point of the sound or to control the volume of the sound as it plays, you use the sound editing controls in the sound panel. Flash can change the point at which the sound starts and stops playing. This is useful for making sound files smaller by removing unused sections. To edit a sound file, 1. Add a sound to a frame, see adding sounds to a movie, or select the frame already containing a sound. 2. Choose window panel sound, and click edit. 3. Do any of the following. To change the start and end points of the sound, drag the time in and time out controls in the sound panel. To change the sound envelope, drag the envelope handles to change levels at different points in the sound. Envelope line show the volume of the sound as it plays. To create additional envelope handles, up to 8 total, click the envelope lines. To remove an envelope handle, drag it out of the window. To display more or less of the sound in the window, click the zoom in slash out buttons. To switch the time units between seconds and frames, click the seconds and frames buttons. Starting and stopping sounds at keyframes The most common sound related task in Flash is starting and stopping sounds at keyframes in synchronization with animation. To stop and start a sound at a keyframe, one add a sound to a movie. To synchronize this sound with an event in the scene, choose a beginning keyframe that corresponds to the keyframe of the event in the scene. You can choose any of the synchronization options. See adding sounds to a movie. To create a keyframe in the sound layer's timeline at the frame where you want the sound to end. A representation of the sound file appears in the timeline. 3. Choose window panel sound. 4. Choose the same sound from the sound pop-up menu. 5. Choose stop from the synchronization pop-up menu. When you play the movie, the sound stops playing when it reaches the ending keyframe. To play back the sound, simply move the playhead. Compressing sounds for export. To choose sound compression options, you use the options in the export settings area of the sound properties dialog box. The options available depend on the compression method you select. You can also use the sound properties dialog box to update sounds that you have modified in an external sound editor or to test the sound. The sampling rate and degree of compression make a significant difference in the quality and size of sounds in exported movies. The more you compress a sound and the lower the sampling rate, the smaller the size and the lower the quality. You should experiment to find the optimal balance between sound quality and file size. MP3 sound files are already compressed when imported. However, you can recompress MP3 files for export if needed. For example, if the MP3 file is to be used as a stream sound, you must recompress the file because stream sounds must be compressed for export. If there are no export settings, to find for sound, Flash exports the sound using the sound settings in the Publish Settings dialog box. You can override the export settings specified in the Sound Properties dialog box by selecting Override Sound Settings in the Publish Settings dialog box. This option is useful if you want to create a larger high-fidelity audio movie for local use and a smaller low-fidelity version for the web. See Publishing a Flash Player Movie. Note, in Windows, you can also export all the sounds from a movie as a WAV file using File Export Movie. See Exporting Movies and Images. To set export properties for an individual sound, one to one of the following. Double-click the sounds icon in the library window. Right-click, Windows, or Control-click, Macintosh, a sound file in the library window and choose Properties from the context menu. Select the sound in the library window and choose Properties from the library options menu. Select the sound in the library window and click the Properties icon at the bottom of the library window. 2. If the sound file has been edited externally, click Update. 3. For compression, choose Default, ADPCM, MP3, or RAW. To select options for the compression format you choose, see one of the following, the default compression option. Using the ADPCM compression option. Using the MP3 compression option. Using the RAW compression option. 4. Set export settings. 5. Click test to play and stop the sound, and click stop to stop the sound. 6. Adjust export settings if necessary until the desired sound quality is achieved. 7. Click OK. Adding sound compressing sounds for export the default compression option the default compression option. The default compression option uses the default compression settings in the Publish Settings dialog box when you export your movie. If you select default, no additional export settings are available. Adding sound compressing sounds for export using the ADPCM compression option using the ADPCM compression option. The ADPCM compression option sets compression for 8-bit or 16-bit sound data. Use the ADPCM setting when you are exporting short event sounds such as button clicks. To use ADPCM compression, one in the Sound Properties dialog box, choose ADPCM from the Compression menu. Two for true processing, select Convert Stereo to Mono to convert mixed stereo sounds to Mono, Mono. Mono sounds are unaffected by this option. Three for sample rate, select an option to control sound fidelity and file size. Lower rates, decrease file size but can also degrade sound quality. 
Ray options are as follows. 5 kHz is barely acceptable for speech. 11 kHz is the lowest recommended quality for short segments of music and is one quarter of the standard CD rate. 22 kHz is a popular choice for web playback and is at the standard CD rate. 44 kHz is the standard CD audio rate. Note, Flash cannot increase the kHz rate of an imported sound above the rate at which it was imported. Adding sound compressing sounds for export guidelines for exporting sound in Flash Movies guidelines for exporting sound in Flash Movies aside from sampling rate and compression, there are several ways to use sound efficiently in a movie and keep file size down, set in and out points to prevent silent areas from being stored in the shock of Flash file and to reduce the size of the sound. Get more out of the same sounds by applying different effects for sounds such as volume envelopes, looping, and in slash out points at different keyframes. You can get a number of sound effects using only one sound file. Use looping to extract the common part of the sound and play it repeatedly. Loop short sounds for background music. Do not set streaming sound to loop.